Hey stinkers, today we're going to be taking a look at a game that has increased my guitar, guitar skills. And it can do the same for you. Yeah, you. I see you, Chantel. You silly horse. Anyway, let me grab my bass and... Hey! Give that back! Three... Two... One! Okay. Nope. Just kidding. You know, you're pretty big for a snake. Go away! Let's get started. Rocksmith is a game that's essentially like Guitar Hero, but with a real guitar. You plug in your guitar straight into your console or PC, and it lays out the notes in a grid that corresponds to the fret and string in order to play the correct note. It's a really intuitive way of visualizing the guitar, and makes practicing a lot more engaging than reading sheet music or tablature. Think about it through the perspective of somebody totally new to the guitar. How would you play this note? Well, you'd first have to identify which note that is, search how that note is played, and rewire your brain to associate each note to the correct fret and string on your instrument. While this tells you everything you need to know to be able to match that frequency and just start jamming. Of course, this is pretty essential to be a professional musician, but this makes a lot more sense to someone who's still figuring things out. And that's the heart of why Rocksmith is so appealing. I had a hard time staying engaged with guitar lessons growing up, but my development on the guitar skyrocketed when I got addicted to this game. Rocksmith features what they call dynamic difficulty. There's no easy, medium, and hard in this bad boy. It automatically adds notes for you while you're playing, until you're playing the same phrase as it was played in the studio. With the riff repeater tool, you can repeat a riff that might be causing you troubles, and really nail it down without having to play through the entire song again. This is insanely useful to get good at those tricky, tricky phrases. If you have any experience learning an instrument, then you know how important it is to isolate difficult sections to efficiently practice. And I'm glad that the developers kept this in mind when designing this game. It seamlessly combines the pure guitar fun with essential practice techniques, and makes it far more accessible than potentially boring traditional lessons. If you take a look at any of Rocksmith's ads, it's easy to see that it's geared towards people who are pretty new to the guitar. The uncles who bought a Fender, learned three chords, and left it collecting dust. I've got some sweet, awesome guitar riffs that I can pull out. <laughs> Rocksmith could be what gets them back into it. It makes practicing really feel like a game. The progression really fits the unique gameplay of learning an instrument. There's no distinct levels, unlockables, or power-ups. Its incentive to keep playing is so much more tangible than most other video games that's hard to even consider it one. If I spend all day playing Minecraft, it'll be a lot of fun in the moment, but I'm probably gonna feel like shit afterwards. If I spend all day playing Rocksmith, I leave feeling genuinely kinda good about myself because I know I was doing something productive. That is, if I can peel myself away from the game, I can never step away without playing just one more song. The initial song selection in this game isn't great. There will probably be a couple of songs that you like, but not much more. It does cover a variety of genres, but the default songs are pretty underwhelming to everyone I know who owns the game. If you compare to other popular music games, they tend to cover a variety of genres while still making those selections appealing to most people. With Rocksmith, it feels like it's really just pushing you to buy DLC. When it comes to downloadable songs, the options expand over 1500 tracks, if you're willing to pay three big greens. So if you're planning to invest a lot of time in this game, you'll probably be spending more on DLC than on the actual game and proprietary cable, which costs more alone than with the game for some reason. But Rocksmith does justify the price of the songs pretty well. Of course, you could just listen to the song while reading sheet music, but purchasing the DLC song provides dynamic difficulty and song-specific effects to make your performance sound as close to the original recording as possible. Sometimes they do a really good job of matching the tone. 
but other times it's almost impossible to make your instrument sounds like it fits in the mix at all. Luckily, since this is a music game, there's a decent amount of options to shape the sound how you want. With the tone designer, you can mix and match effects to make some really beautiful or nasty tones. Then use those effects chains in the session mode to add additional instruments that automatically start playing and match your intensity. There are controls for simple things like volume and panning, and more involved controls for complexity, groove, and even the room it'll sound like it's being recorded in. Although, in my experience at least, I don't find this mode that engaging. There's a lot of thought and put into this mode, and there's a ton of potential, but this game has been out for years, and I rarely hear this mode being talked about. Anytime I give this session mode a shot, I get frustrated with the lack of control to make the idea in my head a reality. I'd rather just hop on my DAW and have full control of the instruments and their place in the mix. I feel like the session mode is trying to appeal to both the casual and professional audience at the same time, but doesn't fully appeal to either, which is really disappointing because it's so close to being really cool. Hopefully, in the next installment, they'll look at the session mode a bit more critically, or maybe even add the feature to create your own songs and share them with friends. There's already a big community on YouTube of custom DLC songs, and it would be pretty amazing to see something like that built into the game itself. Earlier this year, the Rocksmith team at Ubisoft announced that they're going to be shifting focus from creating DLC to work on a new, new project. project. As of now, there's no information on what that project will be, but it would make a lot of sense if it's another Rocksmith game. So let's make some suggestions and speculations. Be sure to leave comments below if you have any interesting ideas of your own. I promise I'll respond to them all. So, I've already talked about the limitations of Rocksmith and how it doesn't really set you up to read sheet music, but I think I've got the perfect solution. Hear me out, buckaroos. Right now, you could spend countless hours grinding on Rocksmith, but this would still look like a foreign language to you. I think it's time to bridge that gap. Imagine the option to change the visuals to sheet music. It would definitely be overwhelming to somebody who has no experience with sheet music, so it would have to be manually turned on. But you would have the option to start learning your favorite songs through real-world notation with the same dynamic difficulty, note detection, and effects as the rest of the game. I understand that Rocksmith is marketed towards people who are brand new to the guitar, but a mode like this would really serve as veteran players and people who already play the guitar and don't want to learn Rocksmith's proprietary notation. It would definitely make the game an actual alternative to guitar lessons. No one wants you to show up to a gig with your PlayStation. My biggest fear for the next Rocksmith game is the way they decide to distribute new music. I have a gut feeling that instead of releasing songs individually, they'll have a monthly membership or similar service to get access to the songs we all want to play. As of now, there's no real evidence to support this idea, but it would definitely let Ubisoft milk a lot more of that good good from Rocksmith's dedicated fan. Now, if they provide a service like that in addition to the option to buy individual songs, I wouldn't really mind. This is pure speculation anyways. I know I goofed on Ubisoft earlier, but honestly, $3 to learn a song isn't that bad of a deal. There's definitely worse ways they could choose to release new music. By the way, I'm not sponsored. I have no subscribers yet. But I made my first video about this game for a reason. Rocksmith has a lot of great things going for it, and I genuinely recommend it to anyone who has a guitar lying around, especially if you struggle with traditional lessons. The game will increase your skills and appreciation and is overall just a good time. Why the fuck is this snail talking to me? Life shouldn't have to be this hard With an endless stream of videos for free I chose a snail talking about a game to teach me the guitar and I I actually kinda like that shit Even if I'm not too proud of it I think I'll leave the snail a like and subscribe because